Good morning and welcome to my off-camera co-host, Jeff. Good morning. Welcome back to the show, Jeff. We missed you yesterday. I talked to you even though you weren't here. It's blue and gold day, and uh, I'm wearing my Star Wars shirt that also has a Nana on there. You're like, why is he wearing a Star Wars shirt at work? Because it's a collectible Nanook Star Wars shirt. I bet you didn't know that the Nanook is has a cameo appearance in the cantina scene in Episode 4 of New Hope. It's way, way in the back. I don't think you see it in the remastered version. It's only in the original... <laughs> 1977 theatrical version. Let's read Cornerstone. What do you say, Jeff? We should do that. Uh, all right. Today's Friday Focus comes from Yvonne Peter, it looks like, because that's his picture. And Friday Focus is CRCD Bridges Rural Alaska and UAF. The College of Rural and Community Development. That's a tricky word to say. Rural. It comes off all too often like rural. rural? And that's not, that's not how you pronounce it. It's a Rural. We will warm up that day. CRCD is a service area that includes 160 communities, 140 Alaska Native tribes, and 392,000 square miles of land. That is huge. That is a huge amount of people and land that they are advocating for and bridging between those communities and the university system. So Yvonne has a lovely, lovely piece um, written about what CRCD does. So if you're curious about the College of Rural and Community Development, you can read about that, read about the great work that is happening over there. Um, some of the brightest minds of the university come from some of the smallest places in Alaska. Wow, that's, you could put that on a postcard. You could. Nice. Uh, let's see, Iditarod is one of the last gold rush towns. I believe that's an Alaska science forum from Ned Rosell. The mushers were gone, and so were the 640 dogs that pulled them out of town. A few days earlier, the volunteers who gave life to Iditarod had climbed into their single-engine planes and lifted off the ice, carrying their noise along with them. Oh, that is pure Roselle right there. He is setting up a picture. I feel it. I can, I can smell the gas from the planes and those cars. Nice work, Ned Roselle. Uh, there were no gold mines like that. So it's just a look at Iditarod, that crazy, crazy little town that has a big race named after it. Do you want to read more about that history? Ned loves Alaska, I think I'm safe in saying. I think you're right, yeah. He loves it. He loves it. Uh, the Science Potpourri is coming up next week, the 13th of April. Whoa, right away. I want to go. See explosions, real lava, and... More. Yes, Jeff, more. More explosions and lava. I have seen them do that. They take, the, they take the basalt that the lava, they put it in a little crucible thing and they stick it in an oven and that thing gets really hot. So hot it melts the rock. Like we go out in the summertime, we're like, woo, it is like lava out. No, lava is really, really hot. Uh, it's cool stuff. Science potpourri. Have you taken your young scientist in your family to science potpourri? I did. It's a Stuff. There really is. Um, you get live science shows, science-based activities, making liquid nitrogen ice cream. That's always a popular one. Dig for fossils. Oh, there was one oh, that was an engineering thing. I won't even mention that. I'll save that for the next engineering open house. That's one of the science thing. But they also have that little planet. It's a great science potpourri is great. So that's a good plan for next weekend. Uh, all of that and more <laughs> in the cornerstone today, including a chance to hear about uh Clam respiration rates. You can't get that every day, can you, Jeff? <laughs> Definitely not. All right, talk to you next time. Bye.